this is Barry here from the Steel Reef coming to you with my how to on how to grow coralline algae for your reef tank. So I started out with zero coralline algae on my rocks obviously with my dry rot from Carib Sea. Um, so as I'm going to show you here in a minute, I how I do my special sauce I guess you could say with blending coralline algae uh, flakes from my local fish store at Prestige Worldwide up in Oklahoma City with some calcium and with some tank water from this tank. It's a very simple solution. Uh, it works really well as you can see in these two pictures here. So you can see I have uh, this pretty much month one of white rock zero light coralline algae then you can see right here. I have um, month four to five of my tank going on and the coralline algae is just going crazy. So it really took a, took a hold um, probably a month, two and a half, three months in you can start seeing the coralline grow, the dark purples, um, the lighter pinks, all in one. It's a great mix um, for the tank and really kind of didn't allow my tank to have a nasty green algae bloom. So let's get to the blender in the kitchen and see what we can do with mixing the coralline algae and then I'll show you how I applied here to our netting tank for the- Alright guys, we are now in the kitchen and to show you how to mix the three ingredients here. So what I have here is the tank water from the JBJ45. So it's familiar with the same water, pretty much the same thing that's um, in my big tank. And you see here I have the flakes from Procedural Wide. I could get some off my back glass, but that would be a pain in the butt. So here we are. Uh, they were generous enough to give me some flakes from their tanks. And then I have the uh, two part mix, but for just calcium uh, from my bulk resupply uh, mixing jug here. So I'm, all I'm gonna do basically is do the one cup of seawater, do the flakes, and then do the calcium mix here. Of course, put the lid on. Then I'll mix for probably about 30 seconds or however long it takes to get them really pulverized to tiny little particles. So this is the coralline algae soup. As you can see, it's very, very tiny particles down there. There's nothing really solid in there. Um, should be a great mix for to seed the tank uh, for the coralline algae spores here. So let's go ahead and head to the tank and get this thing. So okay, guys, we're back at the tank. I uh, have the coralline mix. So I turned off all pumps, the power head, return pump, skimmer, um, and that's pretty much it. So we should be able good to seed the tank. I probably won't do this whole thing because it's not that much rock. However, um, I'll probably do most of it just to get it a good foundation. And all I'm gonna do here is seriously just pour it in just like that. As you can see, it clouds down. What you're really trying to do is get in every single little crevice of the rocks. So once it sits here for probably about a minute or two, then I'll turn on the power head, just the power head. And then to sort of go around and get in the pores of the rocks and it's a nice pink color. It'll look really good here in probably two months. And as you can see on the screen right now, my levels of the tank where I currently keep it at is about 8.3 ALK DKH, about 420 calcium, and then about uh, 1300, 1350 magnesium. And that's all my other tank, and I'm gonna use the all-in-one uh, three-part solution with mag, ALK, and calcium and I'll be using a BRS uh, doser, the 1.1 milliliter per minute doser, uh, put on a, basically a, a Wi-Fi timer on my Apex. So I will leave the skimmer off for the probably next hour or so while this gets circulates around. That's all I'm doing right here. And that's literally how I did my tank on my Red Sea. Um, as you can see here, here's a reminder pictures, crazy coralline growth from month one all the way through month four, four to five. Uh, it's insane. So. Hopefully that you guys get some good tips and tricks from this and it works for you all. Make sure you keep your levels right. That's my biggest tip to you all is to keep your levels steady. I do that with a calcium reactor. You may do it with two-part dosing or however you do it. Just make sure they're st stable. Your salinity is stable. Your temperature is stable. So hopefully you guys learned a lot from this. This is how I did it. Hopefully it works for you all. Let me know in the comments if this works for you or if you have any suggestions on my behalf to let me know how you did it as well. So hopefully you guys get some something from this. I uh, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. If you did like the video, 
please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.